Hi, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel, Linda Learns to Color. Thank you for joining me today. Today I wanted to share um, a coloring book. Oh, by the way, how do you like my background today? This is a quilt that my daughter made me a few Christmases ago. So I love it because it has these cute mugs. These are probably hot chocolate, but we're just pretending it's uh, coffee with some whipped cream on top. And uh, yeah, so she made this for me. I love it. So today I wanted to share Dragon Dragonology, the coloring book. And um, this one's a really neat one. Let me see if I can zoom you in a little bit. Okay, and then I'll just put that up like that. So the back looks like this. And I saw um, this on, I believe it was Doodle Robot channel. I was supposed to write the channel name down this time to be prepared. And uh, yeah, I didn't. Um, so yeah, there's an introduction right here. It gives, you, it gives you some notes and tips like on texture, shading, mediums and colors. And then it tells you a little bit about the dragon. Right here it tells you about like how it looks. So you could kind of get some ideas on coloring. So like this one says, can be red, green, black, or occasionally gold. And then um, with piercing eyes that can range from golden yellow to olive green. So it kind of gives you an idea of how to, what colors to color the dragons. And aren't these gorgeous? Look at these wings. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at this one. Frost Dragon. Oh, look at this one has some eggs there. Look at this one of my chickens. A dwarf dragon. Wow, look at this one. Look at these wings. It's funny because a lot of them have wings, but they're small, so they don't really fly. Look at those claws, my goodness. And this one, if I remember correctly, it sheds like uh, pa parchment paper or something like that. I read a few. Those claws, look at these too. Looks like this one caught some dinner. And this one has three heads. So I think um, this one, I read that other dragons shun it, but it's, um, it will befriend a human and it can learn quite a few languages. Get this one, this will be fun to color with the bird like feathers. This one, I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me of a peacock. Maybe because of all this that surround it. A peacock dragon. And this one, this looks like it's all curled up in its wings. And here's a mom dragon with the baby dragon. This one looks like it was once common throughout Australia. Oh, look at this. So I think this is the mom and that's the baby and they carry the baby around until it's grown. And look at this funny one. This one looks like a chicken dragon. Oh, here's another peacock dragon. Wow, this looks like some flames right here.
And this one is a sea serpent. Uh-oh. He's like, oh no, who did I run into? And this one looks mighty big. Look at that. Because the tree's right here. Wow. That's one dragon you don't want to run into. I wonder if this is the baby dragon. I haven't read the... I haven't read this yet. And then here's another little ba baby dragon. Oh, look at that. Do you see that right there? Looks like somebody came into contact with this dragon and didn't make it out alive. This one looks really cute. Actually, a lot of them do. <clears throat> Aww, this looks like a baby dragon. Oh, it's a dodo dragon. But then there's an egg right here, so maybe that's not a baby. <laughs> Look at this one. I wonder if this one uh, likes books. Look at this one. I wonder if this one's stealing an egg or oh, it's a monkey dragon. That's so funny. Or is it its egg? I don't know. I have to read over here. Oh my, this is a skinny one. Look at it. There's a butterfly. So this must be a small dragon. Oh yes, humming dragon. Oh, look at this. That one's so cute in its own way. And this one looks like another dragon under sea. Because look at that one. He's like, oh, I think I better get out of here while this dragon is looking at that fish. <laughs> That's funny. And there's the back. Looks like there's like some sort of map. It's pretty neat. So I thought this was a really neat coloring book to have. So again, um, let me know what you your thoughts are on this book. Do you like dragon books? I actually don't have too many. I think I might have one more. I just recently started liking the dragon books. So yeah, it kind of amazes me because I went to mostly strictly to flowers like Joanna Basford books. And uh, visiting YouTube channels has just been introducing me to other books. And at first I think like, oh yeah, I don't, I don't like that style. But then I end up really liking it and so it's kind of I've kind of um I don't have just flower books anymore so it's really neat to kind of see from I started back in June or July of 2021 so it's just kind of fun for me to see how my style of coloring books have changed as um from you know from the beginning can't say coloring because I haven't done a whole lot of coloring but um collecting coloring books it's changed from just a lot of floral to like the dragons or um yeah there's can't think of another one right now but I'm sure I will share it with you so thank you so much for for watching and don't forget to live a life filled with color because it's so much prettier that way and you all have a great day bye